Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Before we get to this video, I want to tell you guys thank you very much for all the awesome, positive comments you guys left on the last vlog. You know, when you take a break on social media, you don't like really think about how people are going to react. You kind of get a little nervous. I'm like, man, people are going to be upset. And you know, we got a lot of positive comments. I think we got like two or three of them that are negative. I just deleted those bad boys. But again, guys, thank you very much for that. We really appreciate it. Um, now this vlog, um, it was something we weren't even really going to do. But after talking to like Fish and Wildlife and, you know, some veterinarians and some people all in that realm were just telling us, you know, to publicize it and things like that because, you know, it's, it's, it's really affecting a lot of uh, um, the wildlife and, you know, uh, you know, with the uh, bites with people, coyotes, right? and stuff like that. I mean, we heard some crazy stuff that's been going on here that I didn't even, you know, really believe until we got online and we started seeing a lot of crazy stuff. So this obviously has to do with the Apache and the raccoon. Um, now, so, and uh, something that we did that was really, really, really stupid. Now I'm gonna show you guys a quick little clip of what happens, just a couple, you know, and you guys can hopefully, it, you know, comes out really good because it's through our cameras, but um, check this out. Crazy, right? Yeah, I mean the crazy part is that we couldn't even hear that because we were in the snake room This all happened on the other side on the corner of our house So, you know what happened that night was Tina and I were ultrasounding um, That you know like we usually do in there we're there for a couple of hours The dogs always wait for us here, you know to go in around 9 o'clock so, you know, when we came out, you know, we saw Rogue, which, you know, both of our dogs are miniature bull terriers. One of them's 22 pounds, one of them's 32 pounds, you know, and the female was right there and she went in and I was like, man, where's Apache at? You know, I was like tripping out, like, where the, where the hell is he? So I was looking around, I went to the back and, you know, we thought that, you know, because we, we, the yard was getting fixed around this time. So we thought maybe that one of the workers left the gate open because they have gotten out a few times already. But the whole, you know, the whole neighborhood knows these dogs. So I just heard him breathing really, really, really hard. I'm like, hey, Apache. So I had my phone, as you guys can see on that video. And, you know, boom, right there. I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, before I show you guys a full video of this that I showed the small clip on the last vlog. Guys, this video is very, very gruesome. There's a lot of blood. Um, you know, pretty good chance I'll probably get demonetized on this. I'll probably, you know, probably get a flag on it, but I really don't care. Um, you know, I'm going to put it out there for you guys regardless. To us, it's really important. This video is pretty gruesome. So again, if you guys don't want to see any of this, um, please, you know, just click off or don't watch it. I don't want people, you know, um, throwing it out there saying bad stuff. I'm just telling you guys what happened with us. And... So, you know, here's the full video of the little clip that I showed in the last video, um, and check this out. So, I couldn't find my dog, and I thought he was stuck. As you can see, he is full of blood. And the reason for that is because he just killed a raccoon. What the hell? Apache! So right there, I was like freaking out. Um, I went to go get Tina, I went to go get, you know, my daughter wasn't here, so I went to get Ace, I'm like, hey man, we have a little situation, blah, blah, blah. And we saw, uh, what's it called, um, Apache just chilling right there. You know, he looked all happy. I mean, he was just, you know, going crazy. And Tina started looking at the cameras, which we'll get to that here shortly. But I want to tell you guys about my big, stupid mistake and why this turned into a big, big, crazy, uh, well, bigger deal than what it should have been because, you know, we had to get lawyers involved and everything. So. Right away, I started panicking with Apache, and I was like, you know, these raccoons are fierce, man. They're they're super, super strong animals. I mean, they're they're you know wildlife, and they're they're you know um, wild animals. And I started seeing them. He was missing a piece of his nose. I saw, you know, he had a couple of bites in, but you really couldn't see because it was full of blood. Now, what I did that was just the stupidest thing ever, which I'm gonna go show you guys real quick. Uh, but again, I mean, I'm a, I'm a dog lover and this is where we messed up. Here is where we did our biggest mistake, the stupidest mistake ever. So I grabbed Apache, we put on some gloves. Um, what's it called? My, Tina was helping me, my son was helping me. So we started washing him. He had a lot of blood. I mean, they fought for over about 22 minutes exactly is what they fought for. So I'm washing them because I wanted to get to the bottom of like, you know, his cuts and everything. He had a lot of bites. And I'll tell you guys will see the video and I'll just explain to you guys how this all happened. So as you're washing them, washing them, he just gets up and he starts shaking. Now, a lot of the blood, it's saliva and everything just lands in my face. The water lands on my son, lands on Tina. And I'm just, and I, I remember saying, I'm like, oh my God, I said, I'm an effing idiot. And she's like, why? What's wrong? And I'm like, dude, I'm like, 
we don't know if this thing has rabies or not. I mean, what? I mean, you, you just have to be cautious. I mean, if it was just me, I really wouldn't have cared. But you know, Tina being there and my son being there, I was just freaking out. So I'm like, holy shit, you know? We stopped. Um, I started. I just ended up hosing them down really quick and spreading them out. We all went to go shower, and then this is where everything started. You know, like our mind. We just started googling stuff, and it was the craziest thing. So sorry about all the talking. But I'm just trying to you know explain everything that happened so you guys. If this ever happens to you guys, I mean, you'd probably be smarter than I would be. So we started googling stuff, and I was like, man, this is crazy. So. Right when we Googled something, we saw that with raccoons, they usually don't attack animals or humans, stuff like that, usually unless they have rabies, you know? And right away I started freaking out because in the video, you see the raccoon going back and forth, back and forth. And this raccoon had already had a bad rep here in this neighborhood because it's killed a couple of cats, it's killed um, a couple of little dogs. It's a big mama raccoon. So we started freaking out. I was like, man, Kim, did, this, did the raccoon really attack him? We're like, we're, you know, kind of just saw a little bit from the, from the um from the cameras so then we got in there and we started seeing it and for like 15 minutes the raccoon's going back and forth back and forth mostly looking at rogue which is 22 pounds so here's a picture of the raccoon just literally scoping our backyard out so yeah it's crazy right now here look guys so here i'm going to put the video up um it's really hard to tell on there, but you'll be able to see and you'll be able to hear it Hopefully, you know my, my good editor David could zoom in a little bit Maybe brighten it up or put some arrows So my dog Apache is obviously hearing something and he goes all the way to the corner He just sits down right there He's actually right there by a freedom breeder rack the raccoon crawls all the way to the side Which you guys are gonna see in this video and he crawls to the side and then just comes down and he, he sees the dog and usually a raccoon should not go up against the dog He's usually afraid of him so he goes all the way to the bottom and as it lands right at the bottom, the dogs, like kind of the dog and the raccoon see each other. And then that's where they just, boom, just go at it. Here is a video of, uh, you know, it's a five minute video. You guys, I mean, it's, dude, it sounds horrible. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible. But uh, yeah, check this out. So as you can see right here, the raccoon is right here on the top of the fence. It's scoping out the, the, the freedom breeder rack. Maybe it was looking for some snakes in there. So as little by little, you'll start seeing it, you know, walking down, walking down, and it, it takes a while. So, you know, just bear with me guys. So as it goes down, down, and now it's right there at the bottom. Now you could tell like how these raccoons are crazy, man, how silent they are just by, you know, like not making that much noise because Apache's a very uh, active dog. He would have been alert. He would have, you know, heard him from the fence or walking down, but he heard him right at the end. So then here is where they fight. And again, guys, if you guys don't want to see this, but you guys are going to hear it. It's pretty crazy. Um, you guys could watch as long as you want, but uh, here it goes. <laughs> Crazy, right? So look, just guys kind of get an idea of how big this raccoon is. Check this out. This is my son, my 13 year old son um, holding this raccoon. He's five foot, what, five four, 120 pounds? Five five. five five. And yeah, this raccoon is humongous. Look at this. Crazy, right? So here's where it gets crazy. So the next day, um, you know, it's, a four, it's, a, it's July 3rd. So we're calling, you know, after after seeing like the the, um, the things on Google, like what to do, what there's a raccoon bite, what we have to do. There's a protocol, you know, because if they bite a dog or this and this and that, all this craziness. So right away, what I did was we grabbed the raccoon, we put it in the plastic bag, and we put it in the freezer. So then we called Fish and Wildlife. Well, actually, no, we called Animal Control, and they were kind of like not helping us out. We wanted to take our dog to a veterinarian, but we got turned down by three veterinarians. 
So we were like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? We called our doctor and the doctor's like, well, the best thing to do is, you know, make sure we could get this, you know, raccoon uh, looked at for rabies. Because if not, we're going to have to get all the shots and the side effects are horrible. So we're just kind of like panicking a little bit. Tina's kind of stressing out because we're reading all these things. Once you get the side effects of rabies, they're, they're like, you cannot, what's irreversible. Like you're going to bite the big one. So right away, you know, I, I, I start calling um, our, our, I called the, what's called the Fish and Wildlife um, Animal Control. And I'm like, hey man, this is a situation. And they're like, oh, but we can't do that because you froze it. Uh, we can't check the rabies check. And I was like, what the hell? So I called our, our, our veterinarian, which is Scott Stahl, which is, I mean, one of the best veterinarians in the world. He does all of our snakes. He's like, that's bullshit bull crap blah 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 he sends us all these things so i'll call them over show them you know um this is a really big deal so i called my doctor too i got his some some forms from him as well i called my lawyer because now i'm just like hey man they're not going to take this you know you know as in as important as they should take this you know as a private private what's called them priority priority you know i'm gonna obviously you know that's my family we're talking about so Right there, I called them and let them know, hey, so also this is what happened. Once they found out that my family was involved because, you know, we watched the dog and they came, they came right away. I would say Fish and Wildlife came here within like 30 minutes. And the guy was like, oh, you know, well, you know, we can't really go get him tested because he was frozen. You're not supposed to do that. And I'm like, look, man, just so you know, this, I sold him my thing from my veterinarian. And I'm like, this is from our doctor and this is from our lawyer. Now we are documenting everything because at the end of the day, man, if something happens and one of us gets sick or this has happened, you guys are going to be accountable for this because, you know, I really wouldn't, like Tom, I really wouldn't care, but this is our lives that we're talking about. We can't even get our dogs checked out. So I just need you to spill, sign this and blah, blah, blah. Right there, he goes outside and he gets on the, we can hear him in the camera. He comes in, he's like, oh my God, we're so sorry, blah, blah, blah. We're going to take it. We're going to cut its head off and obviously send the brain out. Right when I told them that we had all this documentation from our lawyers, our veterinarians, and our doctors, they were like, just kind of like more on it. So right there, he called, the cool thing about it, it was super cool. He called a veterinarian that actually took our dog that day. He got some booster shots, they took care of him. He was missing a piece of his nose. He has a lot of bites in his face. And man, he was bit all over his arms. It took him about a week to recover. Um, maybe, like, maybe like two weeks uh, to recover. Cause after he was playing around, he was still bleeding from saps because what happened was, Apache grabbed him from his like arm and his like his shoulder and his back and once he got him he just started shaking him He just wouldn't let him go let him go He broke both of his arms and pretty much from the looks of it like he broke his back I mean dude, these dogs have really really strong jaws. So that's what happened um, The next day we could we had <laughs> 4th of July was kind of hard for us because we we're trying to enjoy it and we really couldn't because we're like, man, what if we have rabies? You know how, dude, especially me, I'm like a super hypochondriac. I'm like Google, I'm like, yep, we all have it. You know, because it did land in our mouth, landed in our eyes and all that. So right on the next day, on the 5th, we get a call from, from, from Fish and Wildlife and then the veterinarians that they tested it and it came out negative. But they had to get all the videos that got a lot of documentation. That's when we found out that a lot of people have been feeding these animals and how important it is not to feed these animals because these uh, raccoons and coyotes have been attacking people, have been biting kids. We actually have a report that they were telling us about that a raccoon took a freaking thumb off of someone. It just bit it and, you know, thrashed them all up, attacked a lot of kids, especially a lot in Los Angeles. So that's why we're doing this video. So if you guys see these raccoons and, you know, as much as we're all animal people, dude, let's not feed these things. Let's let them do their thing. And yeah, so hopefully you guys don't go through what we did because it was crazy. We had to get quarantined for a couple of days. And don't leave your food out there for your cats like we did outside. So a lot of it had to do with our fault too. And you know, my stupidity on that end as well. So that's what happened with the Apache. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, as always, we appreciate all the support. Next vlog we're gonna be doing, we're gonna produce introducing our new member at AEP and where we're at. But as always, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace.